Recently, I had the opportunity to review the Milwaukee 15-piece whole dozer carbide teeth kit. Overall, I was happy with the kit. You can actually watch the review. There's a link down in the descriptions. But there was one issue with the kit, and that was no instructions. You get this product cardboard. It tells you the features of the kit. It tells you what materials you can drill, but it doesn't tell you how to actually use it. And you may be saying, well, you know, it's just a hole saw. But this hole saw comes with not one, but two arbors. And there are no instructions to tell you how to use them. And if you go on their website and some of the other ones, you'll see that there's lots of confusion as to people getting frustrated and just returning and not being able to operate this tool correctly because there's no guidance on how to use these two arbors. That's what we're going to take care of today. Let's start by reviewing the different parts of this arbor. We have the quick change portion back here. This allows you to place it onto a drill driver or an impact tool. In front of that is a nut that can freely turn up and down on this shaft. There's a stop at the back end. In front of the nut, there's an O-ring that just rides up and down with the nut. You'll see there's an opening here for an Allen key. And what that does is it allows you to disengage the pilot drill. This bit has a flat side to it, and it's this flat side that you're going to want to align with this hole so that when you put that Allen screw in there, it locks this pilot bit into place. In front of that is a fastener that has two pins on it, and it just floats back and forth. And at the very end here is a fastener, a, a threaded fastener. And that is what's going to hold your hole saw in place. The hole saw has four holes in it, most of them, not all of them. And then there's this threaded inside. You're going to put on the thread. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to force this on. So when you get to the end of the thread here, you want to back off a little bit. And since this doesn't spin on this spindle, you just align it with the hole, right? So you just turn this until you get one of the holes. So it doesn't have to be all the way down to the stop. As a matter of fact, if you get all the way down to the stop on this one, it doesn't line up with the hole. So you're gonna to have to back off, and that's actually a good thing because you don't wanna tighten things into place where they can't be undone. So now, as you see here, the pins are going into the hole, doesn't matter which set of holes. And now we're gonna take our nut and just go forward with it. The O-ring will come along. And now how tight do you make this? You don't. You just put it snug, you see? I'm just slightly compressing that O-ring and that's it. Because there are two pins holding the hole saw in place, the hole saw is not going to move. It's being driven by this shaft. This nut just holds the pins in place. So the force isn't being taken up by the inside thread fusing it into place as you have with some other types of hole saws. So now you go, attach it to your tool, you do your hole boring, you take out the plug, you're done with it, and you shouldn't need any tools because again, you just hand tighten this, so you back it off, and now all you do is grab the knurling here and you pull back. Now you're saying, but yeah, this is now, you know, fused on because it was twisting and stuff. No, it wasn't twisting because the pins held it stationary. So now all you do is you unthread. And that's the beauty of the system. Unless you go in there with a wrench and you start tightening things down, it should easily come together and come apart. Now, the second arbor is a little bit different. By the way, here's how that Allen key fits in. This is a one-piece arbor. It just 
takes in the, the pilot drill bit and it has a thread. There are only two hole saws that actually fit on this arbor. And so we'll take one and what you'll notice is that there are six sides, six flat sides at the bottom of the hole saw. And the reason is, is once you snug this down, and again, you're not gonna tighten it, just put it on. Once it starts cutting, there's gonna be force on this and it's gonna basically get it stuck. You won't be able to undo this by hand once you've used the hole saw. So what you're gonna need to do is put a pair of pliers or a crescent wrench here and here, and then twist in opposite directions to break it loose. So this is more of the old fashioned arbor, but it's what you have to use because of the small size. There's one other option with this kit, which is this is a hole saw that unlike this one doesn't have the holes inside completely. Uh, see how these holes are just inside the, the base. These are actually on the outside. So this operates just slightly different, but I think most of you can figure it out. Again, it's the same procedure. You, you take your nut all the way down, you slide in the hole saw, you thread it. And again, we don't go all the way down because usually that won't line up. And I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna back it off, not to here where it might go in. Nope, but to here. So you see it's, it's loose now, right? but now that's gonna be held in place. So any force that this is taking only gets transferred to here and not to this nut and not to the, the thread that this hole saw is on. So now we move up the nut. Again, finger tight. Boom, I'm done. I'm ready to use this hole saw. Once I'm done with it, I've gotten the plug out, or if I can't get the plug out, I'm gonna come over here, unthread, pull this back, unscrew. If it's a really problematic plug that I can't get out by sticking a screwdriver or something in here to get it out, then I come in through the backside with the screwdriver and a hammer and knock that plug out. So that's it. I hope you found this interesting or useful. If you did, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, join the subscription team. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I can't thread this. He can't thread this. Thanks. Bye.